Research shows that cultural intelligence is the competence needed to work efficiently in a cross-cultural context. Cultural intelligence is something you can develop, and the main source of cultural intelligence is exposure to other cultures, be that ethnic, national or organizational. But also through focused training you can enhance your intercultural competencies, so you don't only learn it the hard way. To do that, we need to break down cultural intelligence into four focus areas. We call that the wheel of cultural intelligence, or just the CQ wheel. First part of the wheel is CQ drive. This is your motivation and confidence to work outside your own cultural comfort zone. Do you think you can learn anything from being in another culture than your own? Or do you let your Stone Age brain tell you that it's much more valuable to be around people like yourself? Basically, if you don't think it can be fun, educational and beneficial for you to be around other cultures, you're probably never going to get any positive results from it. So either change that attitude or forget about working cross-culturally altogether. The next part of the CQ wheel is CQ knowledge. This is the hard part of the wheel because it involves learning not only the do's and don'ts of foreign cultures, but also the deeper values and ideas that distinguish societies, including your own. In a way, people who are high on CQ knowledge can distinguish between behavior primarily affected by personality or behavior primarily affected by culture. You might think this is irrelevant. Say, if you're having a local problem at your French office with Pierre, does it really matter if that issue is because of Pierre's nationality or because of his personality? A problem is a problem. But think about that again. What if I replaced Pierre with Sean and still had the same issues and replaced him again with Claude and nothing happened? Then it might look like I or my organization have some sort of compatibility problem with parts of French culture. And replacing a Frenchman with yet another Frenchman will only postpone a real solution to the problem. The only way to avoid this is having some real and factual knowledge about other people's culture. So you're better at analyzing and interpreting a situation the correct and unbiased way. But this knowledge of course needs to be checked and questioned as well. A part of this is your CQ strategy. This is where you check your assumptions and make sure your knowledge isn't too stereotypical. This is also where you plan work in other cultures. For instance, knowing that a meeting might take longer in a culture that focuses a lot on relationship building, you need to plan so you have the time for that. The last bit is CQ action. This is very important because it doesn't matter if you feel, know and plan cultural intelligence if you don't feel comfortable doing something that might be new to you. So you have to be able to act in a way that doesn't come natural to you, without of course challenging your inner core so much that you can't recognize yourself. Striking this balance is CQ action. So these are the competences you need to enforce and develop in yourself to reach your cross-cultural goals. Find the motivation, prepare for your encounter, Reflect on everything you experience and act smart in the right context.